Lindsay from Bossy Face, and for my first video on my channel, I decided to invite my sister on with me, and we're gonna go over what's in our makeup bags. Show your makeup bag. Woohoo! Okay. So I think we're gonna start off with throwing stuff on the floor, obviously. <laughs> um crazy. Um, um, with foundation. <clears throat> we both use bare minerals foundation. I use the matte, and she uses the original formula. I I am fair in the matte shade, and you are fairly light. Fairly light. Yours is a little bit more yellow tone than mine, and I don't use the matte so much because I like the formula, because I think the matte shades run a little darker than your shade, mm -hmm. um, the original shades, so that's yes. why I, original formula, excuse me. I also use this as a concealer for not underneath my eyes, but everywhere else on my face. I just use it with concealer blush blush brush and I think it works really well so that's what I use for foundation speaking of concealer go ahead um I use covergirl this says true conceal and I use the lightest it's by numbers I just realized that I use number one the lightest shade and I just use this for my pimples I don't use any um under eye under eye concealer at all for my under eye concealer I use the pixie Correction, Concentrate, and Brightening Peach. You can find this in Target. I said peach weird. Peach. Um, this is almost like a balm. I put this on first, and then I put on top of it to like kind of counteract um, the pink and counteract some other colors I have going on. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, this is the Dark Spot Eraser Treatment Corrector. Um, there's a normal brand of this. It's, it's, it's um, You can see the color inside. I think they both work the same. And I use always the lightest shade, which is the fair. So that's what I use concealer-wise. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. You want me to one, two blushes? Sounds good. Um, what I'm using for blush right now that I'm going to every single day is a combination of two. Um, I first put on the Josie Moran, which this is her... Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel A in Island Pink. I think I got this in a kit from QVC. Not a quit. A quit. <laughs> not a... <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Like a kit? I'm not trying to say kit. I guess it is a kit. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of a shade right there. Um, it's, it's very sheer, but I think it makes my other stuff have staying powder. Um, the other thing that I'm pairing with this, that I'm pretty much using this every single day, is this is the Physician's Formula. This is their powder palette multicolored custom blush in blonde they have a blonde brunette shade i think the blonde shade works better with fair skin tone so i'm using this it's definitely a mosaic powder um but when you swirl it around together i think it's really really super gorgeous it looks chalky here but when you rub it in it's just a really pretty pink and i think it looks really well looks really well looks really good and works really well or you can say it looks really well and that's like a combination of the two i guess and just to quickly go over two other blushes that I have in here. Um, this is my Stilla Custom Color Blush in Pink. This is the one that like self-adjusts to everyone, supposedly. It looks crazy in here, but when it's on, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I wore this in my best friend's wedding down in Virginia, Nicole. And I looked at the pictures afterwards and thought, that's a really pretty blush. And that's what it looks like swatched on in a heavy, heavy swatch. When you put it on naturally, it just looks amazing. It looks really good. Um, the other one, I just want to highlight one because this is super popular right now. This is the Hourglass. This is their Ambient Lighting Blushes, which is the Ambient Lighting Powder mixed with blushes. This is in Radiant Magenta. I really like this. It's what I'm wearing now. I mean, I I really like the shade. However, I paid $45 for this with Christmas money, and I would not say it's worth $45 because I can find a shade like this. I do think it is longer wearing than my other blushes, but I wouldn't say, like, this is amazing. I'm going to go out and repurchase it. However, I think it's going to last for pretty long because there's a lot in here. Go ahead, because I'm a blush <clears throat> whore and you only have one. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I use Estee Lauder Signature Silky Powder Blush in Fresh Plum. I believe it is now renamed to something different. Um, but I only use generally one blush. Um, and this is it. Okay, how about we move... I will do my highlighters, ex my highlighter extremely quickly. Um, I use this, which you actually don't get anymore. I think you can get it online, but they don't make it anymore. This is um, Philosophy's Amazing Grace Shimmering Face Powder. I actually got it at Big Lots like a year ago for $3, so super deal. Um, it's like a light pink, shimmery color, but it just comes off shimmery. It doesn't come off pinky at all. It's just a really pretty highlight, and I just think it looks really good. There it is in the middle. It's just, I think it's a nice highlight that has shimmer, but not sparkle, and not glitter. So mm -hmm. I just think it, look, it works really nicely. 
Um, why don't you move on to your eyeshadows? Okay. Um, I use a eye primer before my eyeshadow. Um, I it's Urban Decay. That's the only eye primer I use. This happens to be um, the shade happens to be called Sin. It's a nice champagne color. It's right there. Um, I enjoy that. And then I just use the seashell in the Alta brand for the for the eyeshadow. It's my go-to everyday color. Um, it's this one right here. It's the regular quads that you you know get with those. But you can also get I think an individual as well. Yes, I have I have one of those as well. Um, and then right now I am wearing this was in Lindsay's Epsi bag last month. Yeah, February. February. Um, and it's Spiced Rum. That's the shade. I'm not sure. We're not sure what brand it is. Um, but it's this nice, again, I put too much on. A little goes a long way, obviously. Like, that's going to yes. last you for forever. Yes. So, I like it. It's, I think pretty it's pretty bronzy nice. color. Yes, very pretty bronze color. Um, for my eyeshadows, um, I use this. This is Smashbox Artificial Light Luminizing Powder. This is obviously a luminizer for your face. However, I think it's a little too sparkly for your face, and I use it for my um, eyes instead. I think it's limited edition. I hope not, because I would love to get it, but that's what it is. It's just really pretty. I think it's a really good highlight, and sometimes I will just use a tip, a tip, a little bit of this underneath my brows, like right here, if I'm wearing another shade. Um, there are two formulas that I almost all, and there goes my blush again. Um that I use almost all my eyeshadow with. It's either the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour and or the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infall Infallible. This one is always pearly pink. I think any shade of this is really good. Right now I'm just using pearly pink because it just comes off as like a shimmer and I tend to use shimmery shades. And this, this is a limited edition that's out right now in Nude Compliment. I really think this is like the prettiest eyeshadow color I've ever owned in my life and ever owned and I am going to definitely buy a backup of this even though I've never like ran out of one of these that I've had but it's a beige I'd almost call it like a gray brown and it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it's um I think if you wanted to like make it really dark you could for like a night out but I wear this to work and I just think it looks gorgeous and I have like a brownish green eyes and I think it makes them look really good it makes them pop um do you want to go into your eyeliner sure um I have two eyeliners in my makeup bag right now um, the first one is Mary Kay. It's dark denim. It's pretty much like a shade below navy. Um, and so that's that. And then my other color in here is Ulta brand um, in olive. So it's a nice green color. I really enjoy it. It's pretty. Um, and there you go. Um, I use, if I ever do wear eye liner, which is very few and far between, the CoverGirl Liquiline Blash. Blash. Blast! Um, this is their gray shade. I don't know what it's, it might just be called gray, but I just think it's really pretty. I don't think it smudges. I think I can put it on pretty easily, and I'm not a real big eyeliner person. And I just think it's a really good formula, and I really like it. I think it's really good quality. Um, go ahead and talk about your mascara. All right, I am using right now um, Alta Brand Plush Drama Volume Mascara in Black Brown. I always go for the black brown shades um, because I'm a redhead, so just the plain black shade doesn't really look any kind of good on me. Um, and I enjoy it, so black brown. I usually use CoverGirl brand mascara, and I just overall stay away from the waterproof. Speaking of CoverGirl, I don't wear waterproof either because I have contacts, but right now what I'm using is the CoverGirl. This is the Flamed Out Mascara. Um, the shade is Very Black Blaze. This was, I think, in their, well, their Hunger Games promotion, and it has little flames on it. That's why I bought it. But if I'm going to use any kind of mascara, I use different types, but it's always CoverGirl because I think it doesn't smudge, and I think it lasts awesome for a drugstore mascara. I mean, yes. better than even some high-end mascaras. Yep. Um, I will talk about my one lip product very quickly while Kel's getting hers ready. Um, I don't tend to use stuff with a color in them. What, right now what I'm using is the Yes2 brand that has all the different things, you know, like tomatoes, carrots. Um, they just came out with a new lip balm. This is what I have. I have this in blueberry, and this one happens to be pomegranate. It does have a 15 SPF. It's just really nice. It's colorless, and I think it's just super moisturizing, and I wear this at night before I go to bed, and I try to wear this when I put on my makeup, like, before I go to work. Um, for my lip stuff, I have a few things for that. Um, the first one I have a swatch of here is Revlon. 
Um, just lip gloss. The color is Firecracker. The shade is Firecracker. Firecracker! Um, and it's nice. It's an orangey red, but it's nice and sheer. It doesn't show up too, too orangey on my lips. Um, the second is a lip gloss. Not gloss. I lied. Lipstick. Lipstick um, from NYX. And the shade is B52. Um, and this is my go-to. I usually wear this to work every day. Um, and so it's nice. it has a little bit of shine to it. Not too shiny. Um, I enjoy that color. This was actually in one of your Ipsy bags, correct? It was. I get a lot of my makeup from my Ipsy bags. I love my Ipsy stuff. Love, and love, I love. get a lot of my makeup from her Ipsy bags as well. But you've decided now to get your own Ipsy bag. Yes! So, so I'm so excited. In a couple of days I will get my first Ipsy bag. I'm double, so excited! Double the trouble with the Ipsy. Yes. And what I'm wearing right now is a Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss in Fame. Um, and it's just a very pretty, like, happy pink. Um, not thing too crazy. It's got a nice shine to it as well, but not overly shiny. It's really pretty. Either. So, I'm actually all about this. I really enjoy this color. So, that's um, that. Did I really cut you off? So, basically, no, that's our right. first video. I hope you liked it. Um, I tried to go with something that kind of like, you know, you can see a large range of products that we're using. Um, most videos from now on are going to be mostly me, but Kelly will guest with me from time on, and I'm going to try to keep my videos um, not super short, but not super long either, a good length of them. We are going to Lush tomorrow. It's my second time at Lush. My first time was I was visiting um, California, and it's going to be your first time in Lush. I'm so excited! So we are going to get maybe not a ton of stuff, but a good amount of stuff, and then hopefully do a Lush, I'd say mini haul, video about that. So if you like our first video and our first video together, um, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and stay tuned for our Lush video. Um, hope you guys have a good night. Bye. Bye.